We've stood our ground. We've taken the worst that Napoleon has to offer. We must attack tomorrow morning. Do you agree, sir? Yes, I agree. Theoretically. According to all the rules that we have ever learned about warfare, we must attack tomorrow morning. But we cannot attack. We are too exhausted to attack. But, sire, if we retreat now, we leave the ground to the enemy. But he has paid too high a price for it. Finally, he will bleed to death from this victory. But it would be impossible to make a stand in front of Moscow. Yes, General. You're right. Do you mean to abandon Russia's ancient and sacred capital? Russia's ancient and sacred capital. Allow me to tell you, Your Excellency, that that question has no meaning for a Russian. Such a question cannot be put. It is senseless. The question I've asked you and these gentlemen to meet to discuss is a military one. The question is of saving Russia. Is it better to give up Moscow without a battle or by accepting battle, lose the army as well as Moscow? Well, gentlemen, I see I'm the one who has to pay for the broken crockery. Gentlemen, I've heard your views. Some of you will not agree with me. But I, by the authority entrusted to me by my sovereign and my country, order a retreat. What a splendid reign the Emperor Alexander's might have been. Now, I'm ready to accept the surrender of the city. Now. Well, where are the boyars? Where is the deputation? There is no one, sire. The city is empty, half of it on fire. There is no government. No one to surrender to you. That's impossible. Impossible. And ridiculous. There must be a surrender. This is an insult. Ah, they are going to pay for this. <laughs> 